How you doing guys? Um, just wondering, how many of us out there have had to change uh, a tube on the side of the road or have had a puncture and weren't, un weren't able to change, were unable to do it? So that got me thinking yesterday, I was out with Emily yesterday on, on her bike and she got a puncture. Um, I was out for a walk, she was on her bike um, and next thing she had a puncture and so we finished her walk but that, that consisted of me carrying her bike and, and, and she walking beside me. So if I had had the puncture repair kit with me, we probably could have done it on the side of the road and continued on, but obviously I didn't. Um, so that got me thinking, how many of us are actually able to change a puncture and do we know what we need? And would we have the tools or the kit with us to actually do it? So I have Emily's little bike here with me. Uh, puncture's on the front wheel. I'm going to take it off and I'm going to actually go through it and see what job I can make of doing it and maybe give you some tips and pointers and maybe if someone else might be able to come on and comment and say well actually i do it this way this is an easier way of doing it or this is better so i have a table set up here as well just with a few things that we can use to actually um put into our kit um so i'll just kind of show you that so i'll take the camera out there now oh just where i have it on hold and we just show you let's turn it around here what's on that kit so there we have it there so what do we have selection of tubes some more tubes here some gloves we have a roadside pump a couple of different bags and boxes we can use to uh put some of the kit into little multi-tools um some tire levers uh some cable ties roll of insulating tape maybe and then the gas uh, various gas uh, options co2 cylinders if you want to use those um, so that's that's just a selection of the kit various things so we can use those uh, so we can use the various bags to put them into this one is handy i find just goes into your water bottle holder you can put a tube the co2 gas uh, multi-tool gloves gloves are always very handy uh, if it's a mucky dirty day put the gloves on trying to change it um, at least then your hands aren't destroyed and um, your, 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 your kit and your handlebars everything else is not covered in oil and grease and dirt cable ties you never know very handy to tie up a derailleur if a cable breaks um, like I said a couple of multi-tools maybe definitely tire levers and then a CO2 inflator of your choice with a couple of spare CO2 cylinders um, maybe the pump these can attach onto the side of the frame through the bottle holder and then, like I said, various tubes. With the tubes as well, it's important to note the length of the valve that you have. Is the length of the valve suitable for the wheels that you have? Um, if you have deep section wheels, this valve won't suit. You're going to need one more like that. Um, and some valves also have an extender as well. <clears throat> roll of insulating tape or part roll of insulating tape. You never know. It's, it, I've found it handy once or twice. Um, Again, and then the various bags. This one has a tube in it. Comes with a tube, you'll put a CO2 inflator in there as well. That one goes on the, on, on the top tube of the, the bag, or the, the bike. And then various ones go onto the saddles. And my favorite then, the one that goes on the bottle holder. So there's, there's a couple um, options for you. Different bits and pieces to have in your kit. Um, you may find handy. As I said, the gloves is one great one. And cable ties equally as handy for um, tying something up if you, if you need it. So, like I said, here we are. So here we have one, one wheel, flat of course. There was a torn in it. I found a torn, I have it taken out already. So I'm going to see what I can make of actually changing this tube on the video. And this is going to be part of our next challenge then as well to see who can change who can change a tube on a wheel and possibly do it the fastest. So I said I'm going to go through just my little method here and see. So as I said, I've already checked I've already checked the tire to see what was in it. I found a torn. The torn was in it, I've pulled that out. Um so that's what I know was in it. I know there's nothing else left in it, obviously, but we'll still check. 
So, <clears throat> change that. You want to take off the tire. I always start away from the valve, just because that's the place of, of, that's just easier at that point. There's more, more flex on the tire. So generally, just pull the tire out. You might need two levers. Some people can do it with, with one, depending on how thick the tire is. This is a little small. This is only a little small rim, a 24 inch rim. There we go, two levers. Okay, pull out the tire. There's our tire, there's our tube. There's our tube, a little patch on this one already. Someone has obviously had a, they go out repairing that one already. As I said, I know there's a hole in it from the, from the thorn. So we get rid of that. Let me just have a look at the rim then as well, while, while we have it off, make sure there's no, no damage actually on the rim itself. All looks fine there. The inner tape here is all intact. So that's, that's all good. And again, our tire. So what you would normally do, just rub your fingers around the inside of the tire, just so you can see what's in it. Be very, very careful doing that because if there's glass or a thorn or something in there sticking out and you rub your fingers across it, that's, you're going to be, you're going to cut the fingers off yourself. So you want to be having a look at it as well and then just rubbing the, rubbing the hands through. Most of the time you will find the thorn or the stone or, 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 or the piece of glass that's in there. So we just have a feel all the way around, make sure there's nothing there. So that's, that's good. Here's my new tube. Obviously a little small one for that little small tire. Okay. So just gonna put that tire back in onto the rim. And obviously some tires are directional as well. So just make sure that you put the tire on in the direction in which it came off. Again on the front, that's not too much of a worry because obviously you can just swap it back and forth but on the back of the on the back of the bike you can only put the wheel on one way so again just if it's if it's the back wheel just make sure you have that um facing the right direction but i think if it's if it's raining if it's cold you're not really going to care <laughs> you're going to get the tire on as quick as you can get back moving get home and then sort it out there and then okay so First little thing, first little tip someone gave me when I was doing it. Have my new tube. Just put a little shot of air into it first. Just to help getting it into the um in in, in, in onto the rim and the tire. There we go. A little shot of air like that just just helps to get it in. We're just going to put the so obviously valve in first, tires back on. So now, what we want to do is we want to feed that tire, feed that tube all the way in, all the way around, feed it into that tire. And because we put a bit of air in it, it just gives it a bit more shape and it'll let it sit up into the, the tire and in onto the rim a lot easier. As I said, I'm doing this on the video, so. <laughs> have to make sure I do it right. That's it. Feed it all in without being twisted. There we go. As I said, someone might have a, a better tip for that. That's mine. That's what someone gave me years ago. Again, I just feed it all around, making sure that tube is all the way in. Okay. There's our valve, so I always start away from the valve again. Feed that tire around, clipping it in over the rim. You can of course use the tire levers for this, but if you go, if you do use the tire levers to spin the tire on, just be careful you don't pinch it. It's far, far better if you can to roll that tire on by hand. It can be very stiff. Less chance of actually pinching it with the tire lever as you're doing it. So here we go. That's, that's our tire on now. Tube is in. Tire is on. So then 
I've already put air in it. I'm going to let, make sure that air has gone out. So what I would do then is just tap the tire all around. That's just going to make sure the tire is actually seated down and onto the rim. The tube has gone up into the actual tire itself. It's not sitting under the tire. So when we go to inflate it, it's not already that we haven't pinched it and punctured it again. And we came across it. We have our little nut then that, that was on it as well, if you want. Some people leave these off. I prefer to put it on. Stops the tube going back up into the tire. Makes it easier to pump it, especially if you're using a small hand pump on the side of the road. So now we can, we have two things we can do now. So we can, we can use our hand pump or we can use our gas. So our gas options then obviously, it's this little cylinder. So two things to be cautious with the gas. So there's the gas, there's a little cylinder of the gas. Okay, it comes generally with a little holder of some sort. This one is plastic. This is another plastic one as well from, from Tax. And this one has a little foam, foam cover on it. You just put it in onto the new, new cylinder. Okay, so there are the options on that. This one may have gas in it, may not. So for this particular one, screws in onto the valve. Okay, and then we're gonna open the tap, the gas comes out. As the gas comes out, the cylinder gets very, very cold. So as the cylinder gets very, very cold, it'll burn your hands. That's why it has the cover on it. Always make sure to have the cover on. Don't hold the cylinder itself as it's inflating the tire. Um, you'll get frost burn. Hold that hold that cover and use that valve there. So this one had already been used for one repair. I don't know if it's actually got anything left in it. So we'll try it. So you just put it on like that. It's on nice and tight on it. Okay, and we just open that valve. Here we have, it's just inflating there now. Okay, so obviously there's no gas left in that one. That was Okay, we, we go with another, just for that, just for the demonstration purposes. So put on our cylinder. There we go. And of course, these these CO two gases canisters, they're they're designed as a get you home effort as well you should let the air back out of the tube and refill it then with, with your track pump now so we just open that valve nearly there something wrong with that one obviously <laughs> be quite typical when you're trying to do it and the video May not always want to work. This is going to be the problem when you're on the side of the road. No, it's not going to work on that one for me for some reason. But as you can see, that, that cylinder got very, very cold that time. So there may be something wrong with that particular, that particular pump. The same we go, we go with the hand pump. I have other ones there as well, but obviously I'm not going to use another cylinder trying to just for the demonstration. We did a we did a demonstration at the track a few night a few one night. Um I think it was back in January. We got everyone around with a couple of spare wheels, change a tube, see what it was like, and then we um then we took the wheels off our own bikes and see how we could take them off, put them on. And it's amazing even the little tips that people actually learned that night doing their own doing their own wheels as well so here we have it that's it all done final check make sure everything's intact tire is all on the correct way there's no lumps or bumps on it hey presto there's our tire. Go back on the bike. Oh. 
Okay, make sure you always check the brakes and put back in the bike. Everything's intact, everything is tight. And hey presto, there it is. Um, a few other tips and tricks you'll have as well. Um, I've learned along the way too. Wired them especially. So you have a puncture in the back wheel, what do you do? Obviously you take the back wheel off. So what's the easiest way to take the back wheel off? Well, rather than trying to fiddle with the gears and the chain and, and, and all that, change your gears down to the very hardest, the very smallest ring on the back. So if we do that, right? We just turn it over. Here we have it in the smallest ring in the back. Sometimes you have to undo the undo the brake, little lever there to the side. Just loosen that off. Don't forget to tighten it back up, obviously. Then we're gonna take off the wheel. Okay, lift it up. And it should just drop out. There we go. One wheel is off. Second very important tip is the derailleur. So you wanna, what are you gonna do with your bike when you have the back wheel off? You're gonna leave it down on the ground. So what are you gonna do with it? Don't leave it down on the derailleur side with the derailleur on the ground. Um, if someone leans on the bike or trips over it, or even just the, the action of leaving the bike on the ground can damage the derailleur. So if you have to leave it on the ground, leave it against something, lay it down flat on the left-hand side of the bike with the derailleur up off the ground, just like so. So we've gone through the process of changing our tube, checking it all out. Our wheel is all back in order. What do we do then? So because we had the gear already changed down to the smallest, we know where the chain should be. So we try and just line that chain back up on the smallest gear. And it should just slot straight back in. Hey presto, tighten it back up. Tighten it down there. Change the brake. Pull the brakes, make sure it's fine. Check the front one. Everything is good to go. So, there we are, too small. Too small little tips for today. So if you're changing, taking the back wheel off the bike, always very beneficial. Change it down to the smallest ring on the back, and that'll allow you then to just line the chain up when you're putting the back wheel back on again. Makes it very, very simple in doing so. Um, so as I said, that's changing the tire, um, or how to change the tube. So see how you get on, give it a shot. Um, and if anyone has any further tips on maybe how to do that better, sure, put it in the comments below, show a video, and um, sure we'll see you all soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.